So I hope you can see uh, everything okay. The sun is right above the aerial. So what we're going to do today is we're going to move the uh, the three element three band Yagi and the dipole that's underneath it. I'm going to take that, them away and tomorrow I'm getting a four element six band Yagi which is going to sit uh, where the other Yagi is. Well that's the idea anyway. So I thought today's a Sunday. Beautiful, beautiful weather. It's about 26 degrees here in Rotterdam and I thought uh, I'll have a go at uh, moving the aerials. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday and the propagation is absolutely terrible as you might know if you've been on the radio today or the last few days. So I thought now's a good time, take the aerial down, replace it and it should be quite easy. I just uh, take the 40 meter dipole away take the, the pole from the motor and then I can lower it and then remove the uh, the Yagi. Well that's a plan anyway. I'm gonna make a start and see how it goes. One step at a time, that seems the best way to do it. Hi guys, well, it's Wednesday, began this yesterday, it's a lot of messing about, <laughs> that's for sure, there's a lot of parts, uh, it's not quite finished yet, I, I mainly want to get all the, all the elements on, and what I found the easiest way is the boom, which is actually a little bit shorter than the other boom, do that first, then make the elements, then I put the boom on the mast and then with the ladders each element. Let's have a bit of a closer look. As you can probably see we've got a dipole here. This one is split. This one is split and the other one's a full and third dipole. Now <laughs> how you how do you join them together? I'll show you in a minute. So, she's uh, she's up and running. It's taken a long, a lot of time, and a lot of effort to get this thing up here. I can tell you. We'll have a look at it. It's quite, it's quite well nicely put together. Uh, the the ballon that comes with it, initially I've had to put it so, but I think I'll, uh, in a day or so, I'll just hang it down as it should be. I was just afraid of the coax uh, clipping on the corners, but I think with an angle grinder, I'll just take the corners off and that way uh, it's not quite as sharp. But she's quite a big aerial. I've got two of these, uh, I don't know quite what you call them, supports or something, with a bearing in, just to make things uh, a bit more stable. And we can see we've got the ASU motor here. A bit low down for now. I've had to take the guy wires down because uh, I was afraid they'd catch on the cable. But I'll put those back up when it gets windy, it's not a big problem. But I'll just keep the centre of gravity a bit low for now. And also, for the neighbours also, you keep it low, then a week later you rise it up a bit and up a bit more. Yeah, she's, 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 she's quite big. I think the longest element, which is a 40, I think that's almost 11 metres long. I'll have to check in the instructions.
Okay, right. I looked at the meeting at five and six. In my ears at five and nine. And uh, what's your name? Yeah, sorry, Callum. The name's John. The name's John. Japan, Ojo, Japan. Okay, what's your name? 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 Okay, just thought I'd say hello, we'll see you for the first time, I'll have the pleasure. Many thanks, and we'll catch you further down, M5B's age, Joe. Ah, all the best, John. Thank you very much. Somebody just said, where's Andy Cowley? I must admit, I was wondering. Uh, M0XXP, this thing, thank you very much. 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 Thank you Okay, so there's a lot of callers in the order of science tent, so um, we'll just do some zeros for a minute. Any zeros? 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 Any ze
Coffee. Yeah, I'm going to sign out also. I'm going to make a cup of tea. And we'll carry this on a bit later on. Uh, Papa Alpha One, stand by, stand by. G1, JSP, James, yeah, are you okay, mate? Yeah, lovely. All the best, um, uh, James. Uh, Papa Alpha One, make a call. Yeah, I'm very much coloured. I'm testing a new aerial. I've just put up four bands, four elements, six band yaggy, and I've just got radio power, no amplifier. Can you hear me okay, Callum? Over. Oh, I don't know your call sign or your name. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's Papa Alpha One, Papa Alpha One, Lima Echo Golf, Bernard from the city of Rotterdam. Over. Yeah, Bernard, that's fine. You're five and nine, Bernard. No problem. Over. Yeah, getting 2 dB over 9 and very nice radio 4 to 5. Thanks, Callum. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bet you. All the best, mate. Any others with one in it? Papa Alpha 1, Lima Echo Golf. Papa Alpha 1, Lima Echo Golf from Rotterdam. Papa Alpha One, Lima Echo Golf from the city of Rotterdam in the Netherlands. X-ray something I got more than anybody else. X-ray question <laughs> again, sir. I just have to, I just don't have the patience to wait here. Uh, possibly in ten minutes time they might hear me. So uh, I don't. Oh, there's there's a bit of lightning there. So I'll probably uh, try again a bit later on. Ah, some signals are coming in now. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Alpha One, Lima Echo Golf from the city of Rotterdam. Yeah, thanks, my friend. Sorry, but I do speak Dutch, but very badly. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, can you just speak English if you don't mind? Uh, this is Personal Bernard from the city of Rotterdam where it's rain, rain and rain. Uh, I hear by your call sign you're also from Holland. Uh, I'm testing a new aerial as well. Can you please give me a radio report and tell me your QTH, uh, if that's okay, uh, QSL? Yeah, of course, John. <laughs> Sorry for the, for the Dutch talk. <laughs> I thought there was a dead station, so no problem. Well, it is, but... Uh, this side operator name is Bob, Bravo Alpha Sugar, and I'm located in, uh, in uh, the east side of uh, the Hague. Eh? Oh, east. Uh, so almost on the west plant. Uh, so, um, by the greenhouses. Uh, your signal is doing 5858 on the ground wave at the moment. Papa Alpha 1 Lima Echo Gold, Papa Delta 7, Bravo Delta November. Yeah, thanks to Radio Check, my friend. Uh, I got a, a four element six band Yagi on Monday, and this morning it was finally finished. It's, uh, yeah, to say it's been a bit stressful is to say the least, but I'm just using radio power, and uh, I do find it's very quiet on the bands. Uh, on, on 40 meters, I can hear quite a few people, but uh, on 20 meters, 
not not so many people. How have you found the bands today, uh, QSL? Well, today on the bands it's not really busy, but there are about, uh, if I look on the sector at the moment, uh, yeah, a station of T10 or 12, like that. So there is activation at the moment, uh, QSL. Yeah, I think you're receiving a bit better, a bit better than I am. Uh, on my on my display, I can see maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe about seven, but some are very quiet. But I am using a Yagi, and maybe at the moment it's facing towards England. It's facing uh, westwards, so possibly uh, I don't even know which part of the Yagi I'm picking you up on. But I am getting around a 7 and around a radio 4. Every word you say, I can understand uh, no problem at all. I'm just working on radio power for now. I'll turn the amplifier on when it gets a bit busier. But you're making the trip nicely over to Rotterdam. I, ima I imagine where you are, it's also raining at the moment, QSL? Yeah, it's raining, Captain. Dogs at the moment over here. But uh, yeah, the location over here is Den Haag, the Hague. And it's the south part, south part of the lake, so it's uh, uh, on the side of the greenhouses over here. So uh, what, I see, what I see on the QSF, of oh, course, it's 31 kilometers between us, so it's on the ground wave at the moment. Uh, World condition here, STDX10, running 100 whiskey into 10 element Yagi uh, in my club station at the moment, uh, QSL. A 10 element Yagi? That sounds absolutely fantastic. What uh, what bands can you? I suppose you can use all the bands. <laughs> what bands can you use with that? Uh, what that sounds absolutely fantastic. And and where do you put it as well? I mean, I live in Rotterdam, which is quite busy. Uh, in the Hague, uh, it's also quite a busy city. Uh, what what bands does it cover? And did you have any problems with the planning permission? Over. Yeah, okay, uh, on this antenna I can uh, reach uh, 10, 12, 15, 17 and 20 meters, eh? Right. So it's a 5 band 10 element Yagi, 2 elements for 20. Interesting to, uh, to get a different take on other aerial. So I've been talking to you on a, on a huge Yagi up until now, and you're going to switch over to, I think it's a 5 bander uh, vertical, the one you're going to change over. To. Is that so, over? Okay, I just need to tell them now to, uh, to the vertical. And this is a remote station. Um, and it's mounted about uh, 17 meter high. And it's in the central, uh, central part of uh, the Hager. So, uh, again, 100 whiskey. And at the moment, this is with an ICOM 7100 with a GPA 30 uh, 17 meter high. Do you know? Yeah, your signal has dropped uh, from around a 9 to around a 7, but your audio is the biggest difference. Your audio has gone very, very quiet. Uh, well, when I say very, very quiet, you're about a radio 3. I can still understand everything you say, but it, it, it it's like you're further away. Everything's a lot quieter. And, uh, and how did you get your aerial so high? Uh, that's fantastic, uh, QSL. Yeah, okay, just switch over back to the uh, FCD extender. <laughs> it's the main station. Um, how do I get it uh, high there? Yeah, so we do some maintenance on roofs uh, as well. So we had a request over there. Uh, we do some um, uh, the, the, the repeater over there, the digital repeater from uh, uh, Forberg and, uh, and Dell. It's mounted over there and we do the maintenance over there. So that's why I have uh, another uh, antenna over there mounted uh, on top of the, uh, uh, of the building over there. And it's on the uh, side the highway A12, uh, just when it's, uh, it's, it's heading to uh, the A cap. It's uh, the, the big white building over there on the, on the side. So uh, yeah, this is uh, the, the south part of, uh, of the A at the moment where the Yagi is. Eh? But um, yeah. So we have different locations uh, where we can uh, just uh, use, the, uh, use the antenna. And we use this as well. Um, this is the main antenna what we are using for 20 meters. Uh, and the other one normally we are only using for receiving, eh? to a 7100. 
uh, using uh, for for uh, context and uh, stuff like that. And then on the left side of the audio, we have the main transceiver, and on the right side of the audio, we have the, the RX from uh, uh, from the remote station. Eh? And it's uh, doing a great, great, great job. Eh? So uh, when, the, when the station is uh, is on the side of the beam, uh, you you can't understand it. But with the, with the vertical mounted at 70 meters, you can hear everything over there. So uh, yeah, that's that's a small trick what we uh, what we made over here. Uh, hi hi. Uh, so microphone back to you, Papa Alpha One Lima Echo Gold, Papa Delta Seven, Bravo Delta November. Yeah, thanks the information. Uh, interesting to know. Uh, I, I, I point to my Yagi 300, 300 degrees. So I'm actually speaking to you from the back of the Yagi as it happens at the moment, and you're a bit clearer now. I've moved it to 300. Uh, I should really move it all the way to 130, so I'm pointing towards you. But yeah, <laughs> I'm just uh, you're just with the back of the Yagi now. Uh, but just before I let you go, uh, I've got a noise level of around five. And with this new aerial, I'm not quite sure if that's kind of normal. W what noise level do you have at the moment, uh, QSL? Yeah, okay. Uh, I, uh, I'm in an industrial estate at the moment, so uh, the noise level is S2, S3, right. as maximum. And when I look uh, at the, the vertical, it's as well on S2, because it's a really, really high location without any interruption of uh, Alibaba and AliExpress uh, shizzle. Uh, so when you're in the, in the environment uh, surrounded by uh, civilians, yeah, they, uh, they buy a lot of uh, stuff from AliExpress, and uh, that's why your noise level is that high. Eh? But I look at home, I have a noise level from S5, S6 at the moment. Uh, but uh, over here in the club station, it's a really low, low, uh, uh, sometimes it's tipping S1, S2. Eh? It's doing excellent. Yeah. So it depends on where you are and uh, what, uh, what kind of uh, um, yeah, stuff your, your, your neighbors uh, have. Eh? <laughs> if they're if they they owning a lot of uh, AliExpress uh, stuff, yeah, it's, it's end of your hobby, I guess. So, Michael, back to you, Papa Alpha, one Lima, so go for the Delta 7, Bravo, Delta November. Oh, well, AliExpress. We have the Dutch equivalent, which is Action, uh, where you can buy a telephone charger, I think for €2.50, <laughs> and all sorts of cheap electrical rubbish that causes all sorts of interference. Uh, but, but I think that's a story for another day. Uh, I'm going to cut it short here, my friend. I just want to check another few frequencies and just check the SWRs OK, and uh, th th then hopefully it's going to be, be a bit busier and I can turn the old amplifier on and see how that thing works. It's been very nice talking to you, and uh, I'm pretty sure I'll speak with you again when the propagation allows it. But it's been a really good radio check and a good chance to uh, have a good idea what this area is capable of, even if it's only to, to The Hague. So it's been a good conversation, and I'm sorry to cut it a bit short, but I'm sure we'll catch up again when the propagation allows it. This is a Papa Alpha 1 Lima Echo Golf, uh, personal Bernard from Rotterdam. Uh, I've got your Papa Delta 7 uh, Delta November, but I've also got Papa uh, Italy 4 Romeo Sierra, and I believe that's, a web, that's the uh, QRZ page I need to look at. Uh, over. Okay, just have to look over there and uh, <laughs> if you have any questions, you are the as well over there. So thank you for the for the conversation.